You ever wondered about that uh, charging plate that Apple actually wanted to release? So what do you call that? The Air Power? Uh, we're going to show you a better alternative today. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you can notify when videos come up, tips and tricks and unboxing just like these ones. Check out merch below at 1130.ca. Hit the like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. One is from Hard Cedar Labs. And this is the Slice Charger 3. Yeah, basically if you want to charge multiple devices all at once, this is a device for you. If you have AirPods, uh, iPhones, for Apple Watches, you'll be able to simultaneously charge them all. Let me show you the back here, it's pretty intriguing. Basically it has multiple coils and you can basically just throw your device wherever you want and you'll be able to charge it. It's awesome for the iPhone 12s out there as well so you can easily charge your phone. It also has a USB-C port that is 30 watt on the back and also an 18 watt USB-A port. So that's pretty good. Let's open this up. Now this is the Pro Edition. There's, there are other uh, devices if you don't like this one on their website. The link is down below as well. Go ahead and check that out. User manual right there. And charging pad right there. Pretty cool device right there. This one tilts up and down as well for your Apple Watch. Very nice. You don't need an extra cable as well because they provide that right there. It has this leather little tag here. Pretty cool. On the back is two USB ports, USB A and USB C, and also the where you where you put your cable there. It's also made out of metal. What else do we get on the box? So here. You get different plugs as well. Wherever you are in the world, this will work. A uh, US plug is what we use here. So we're just gonna use that right there. And then the charging block right there. Very nice. Let's put this away for now. Let's go ahead and open up the stand for this. Now the power supply as well is 64 watts, which is plenty, plenty for most devices. So that's pretty good. Okay. Again, this is a stand kit. Got a little uh, literature there, a little stand kit right there. Let's take this out. There you go. Comes with little stands like this. And that's it for that. Let's put this aside for now. Now, the cable as well here is premium. Look at that. Uh, braided wires. It also, to install this, there's a little lever there when you twist and lock, so that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Uh, yeah, it's quite premium, definitely. Right there, here, it's a little mesh back that won't scratch your phone, so that's pretty good as well. To install this real easy, you just plug it in on the back, like so, and you'd be good to go. Plug this in. So install the back, all you need to do is grab the Allen keys that came in the box right here. You place this right here, like so. You grab your little accessory right here, and then you just place it down like so. And then you tighten it up with the Allen key on the back. There you go. Once you're done this part right here, then just attach it on the back like so, magnetically, like that. And then this part right here goes in the back like so. Again, with magnets again. There you go. Now you can put your AirPods there. It also comes with a little clip like this so that you can manage your cables. You just place it on the back here, like so. Okay, right now we're gonna test it out and see how much devices we can put on this. Let's start off with our Apple Watch, like so. There you go, good to go. And then maybe you have an iPhone, let's just say. So you wanna put it there. Again, it doesn't matter where you place it, it'll charge it to wherever you want. I could have placed it right here. It really doesn't matter. It would still charge it. There you go. So let's say you have an AirPod. This will charge it as well right there. Pretty nice. Again, like I said, it doesn't matter where you place it, it'll charge it. Or if you have AirPods Pro, 
it'll charge it as well. There you go. Let's just stick with the AirPods here and see and see if it'll continue charging if we add another device right in the back here. So you can see there it's charging that, it's charging this phone as well, it's charging the AirPods, and also it's charging the Apple Watch as well. Now this gets crazier because we have, like I said earlier, two USB sides right there. There you go. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and maybe place another device there and there. Let's go ahead and do that. Three, four devices right here. And I've used one more on the back on the USB-C. And that is the MacBook Air M1. There you go. It's actually officially charging it. It's pretty cool. Let's try that again. It'll make that charging noise. There you go. Pretty good. So officially because it is 30 watts that USB-C in the back, we're able to charge a MacBook Air M1 onto that. It only needs 30 watts, pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and see if the rest of the device is still charging. As you can see there, it's still charging, pretty cool. Now of course you can use the charger as well without the stand, so that's pretty cool as well. If you just use a pad like this, you would be able to just tilt the Apple Watch stand right there and you'd be good to go. So this um, Apple Watch charger is tiltable, so you can have it like that or like that it doesn't matter the stand as well has a little silicon bottom here it won't uh, scratch your phone it's very soft and um, it's like a hard uh, rubber pretty good everything else is uh, made out of metal there premium stuff right magnets changes everything and that's it for today guys thanks for watching i hope i was able to help you on your choice on a brand new charging pad like I said, if you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. I definitely would recommend this for everyone who has multiple devices at home, even if you have like a MacBook M MacBook at home that needs that kind of charging. Like I said, I was able to charge all of these devices in one go. Yeah, so basically Hard Theater Labs really did a good job with this because I was able to charge all these devices with no problem at all, even the MacBook Air M1. So that's pretty good. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. Yeah, I like their website as well. It's very clean. All their uh, products here as well comes with different uh, accessories. And it's just you can, you can customize it to whatever you like, what kind of style you have, even Apple Watch bands. So go ahead and check out their website. And um, I think you're going to like it. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.